The Committee of Creditors for DHFL will be meeting today. Uh, we understand that the meeting is going to be starting at 3 p.m. And from what we are picking up from sources, the COC will be evaluating the bids further. And this will be based on the clarifications that had come in from the resolution applicants on 21st of December. Uh, remember, 21st of December was the date set after the meetings that were held on 18th and 19th of December between the lenders as well as the resolution applicants. And there were certain clarifications and concerns that the COC had raised on which uh, the, the, uh, co the Committee of Creditors had sought response from the resolution applicants on 21st of December. Now, what we understand is that uh, the, the uh, bids will be put up for voting after the further evaluation. Depending on how long the evaluation takes, the voting period will begin. And this voting period will be a 15-day window for which, uh, in which uh, the lenders will keep on voting. And after that, we will find out that which is the more preferred bid uh, by the lenders for DHFL. Now, what we also understand is that in the run-up to this uh, Committee of Creditors meeting, Ajay Piramal, uh, Piramal Group Chairman had written to the DHFL Administrator. On the other hand, Oak Tree Capital had also written to the Committee of Creditors. So there is this tussle that is ongoing within the top two uh, bidders for DHFL. Remember, Oak Tree Capital's bid stands at 36,640 crores, while uh, Piramal Enterprises' bid stands at 35,500 crores. In the, in the letter by Ajay Piramal, he had said that, you know, uh, Piramal Enterprises' bid is the best in terms of value maximization. And he had also spoken about how the bid by Oak Tree Capital does not meet the tests of feasibility, viability, uh, it's not even unconditional. In fact, Ajay Piramal had also added that if you address the 1,500 crores uh, escrow account, escrow amount that uh, Oak Tree Capital has said that they will set aside, that is the money that is owed to the creditors as well. If that money is considered and adjusted in the cash payment, then the bid by Piramal Enterprises is in fact higher by 2,500 crores according to Ajay Piramal. Um, in response to this, we understand that Oak Tree Capital has written a letter to the Committee of Creditors where they have said that they have been the subject of a sustained campaign to undermine their bid. And they have said that any suggestion that Oak Tree's bid is conditional is incorrect and designed to mislead. Apart from that, Oak Tree has said that uh, they would not have been invited to bid in the first place if their bid was not implementable. And this is referring to the insurance business and claims by the other, other bidders that, you know, the, the, a foreign player will not be able to own the insurance business, which means that they have to wait for a sale and alternate buyer to come in for the uh, plan by Oak Tree Capital to be implementable. So for this, Oak Tree Capital has said that if that was a huge issue, they would not have been invited uh, to put in the bid in the first place. Uh, what Oak Tree Capital is also saying is that foreign investors do not expect to be invited to bid, take part in the process and then be discriminated against for being a foreign player and not a domestic player. And also they have said that the resolution process has been opaque with shifting parameters and there have been critical breaches in confidentiality that have disadvantaged certain applicants. What Oak Tree is basically saying is that instructions have been unclear and when we requested clarification in the interest of all resolution applicants, the uncertainty was not resolved. So this is the tussle that was ongoing, but it is important to see whether the Committee of Creditors comes to a conclusion, the evaluation is completed, and the bids are put up for vote voting because that will be the final stage and a winning winner will emerge.